Hi, I'm Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of my deck collection and we're still on the oracles and it's probably going to be a couple more videos uh, before we get through all of them. I'm going to start out with my angel decks today since they're right next to me. And the first two decks I'm going to show in combination because I have the deck actually um, combined with one another. And those are both Kyle Gray decks and it's Angel Prayers and Keepers of the Light um, Oracle cards. So I don't remember which is which. One is the blue and one is the, I think this is Keepers of the Light and maybe this one's Angel Prayer. I don't exactly remember. So I don't want to say um, in case I have it wrong. Uh, what I did was I, I think I watched a video maybe of someone that put these two decks together because I had obviously have both of them and I wasn't using either one of them. There was just certain cards in both decks that I just wasn't connecting with. And what I did decided to do was to pull out all the cards that were in relation to like a person, um, a ascended master or an archangel or something like that. I made sure I pulled all of those cards out and then um, I pulled some of the other cards out also to make a large go-to um, angel deck. And I like it. Uh, I don't use it that often because I have so many, but when I did, I, I really enjoyed it. But yeah, I don't have much more to say about that than, or say about this than that. <laughs> um, but that's, that's these. My next angel deck is my Doreen Virtue Archangel Michael deck. This deck has gotten a lot of use. Um, I think I said in my other video of decks that shaped my practice, um, I worked with Archangel Michael a lot. Uh, I did a lot of channeling of Archangel energy. I did a lot of automatic writing um, of angel energy. And, but I worked specifically with his energy a lot. And so, yeah, I was constantly pulling cards from this deck. I really do enjoy it. It's out of print now, um, but I'm sure you could probably find it on like maybe eBay or, or somewhere like that. And it stays in my cupboard because I still pull from this deck. So while we're talking about Doreen Virtue, I'm just going to go on to this one. This is her Ascended Masters Oracle cards. And this is another one that I'm sure is out of print. And I use this just basically um, for the Ascended Master energy. That, that's kind of what I, I use it for. Not necessarily for... Um, full-on readings, but I do pull out a card out of here every now and then just for that energy. I won't show that too much since it is out of print. I showed this one already. This is Doreen's Healing with the Angels. We'll do this one really quickly. Um, this is another one that I said had a pivotal role in my practice. And this is one of my favorites of her um, angel decks. I, I don't know if this was her very first deck or this might've been her second deck. I have this, I have the healing with the fairies also, but um, it's this one that I tend to use. My last Doreen deck that sits out or sits in my cupboard is the Archangel Oracle cards. And yes, I talked about this too, um, because I use Archangel Energy. Matter of fact, this deck was so cheap at one time, I think I had bought like three copies of it. And when I would write people, um, send cards or whatever in the mail, I would pull a card out randomly and uh, tuck it in there and send it 
to them. This has been a great deck. So, and if I didn't, I think I said, but just in case this one I think is out of print. Oh, I know it's out of print also. Okay. Um, so my, one of my favorite angel decks is Kyle Gray's The Angel Guide Oracle. I'm not really keen on the images on the deck. I'm going to be honest about that, but this deck has a really good energy to it. Um, it's very easy for me to connect to that energy. It's very easy for me to pull in kind of that angel vibe energy with this deck. Um, there's just some, not all, I mean, this one's fine. This one's fine. There's just certain images in this deck that I not, I'm not that fond of. And it's kind of what has stopped me from getting his new one. And I can't even remember. Oh, I can't even remember what the name of it is. But um, yeah, this one became a favorite. There's just, like I said, just a few uh, images that I don't really care for. But for the majority, it's it's a really good deck. So while we're on the Kyle Gray train, I will just go ahead and show this one. And that is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. And I think everybody has seen this deck before. I mean, this um, seemed to be pretty well loved by everyone as far as, you know, angel decks go because it isn't all geared in angel energy. It has that ancestor energy to it also. The images on this are beautiful. The images on this one I really do like. It's that matte cardstock, which sticks together for me. So I really do enjoy this one. I haven't used it in a while, but that's okay. Not gonna go anywhere. I don't really have that much to say um, about it. I use I use it however I want to use it. It's not like I have it for only one particular reason or season or whatever. My angel decks are used whenever I need them. Whenever I need to pull in that angelic energy, want to get back in contact with it, um, want to you know feel that divine love, that kind of thing. Um, I will go to my angel decks for that. Um, another favorite of mine is this Angel Michael Sword of Light by Radley Valentine. And I got this specifically because it's uh, supposedly geared in Archangel Michael uh, energy. And I already spoke about, you know, my work with him. And so I do really love this deck. And I love the fact that there's not just all images of angels on the deck, that it is you know, um, images of everyday life in some of them and uh, just, you know, different things. This is another really good one. I have two more, I think, angel decks and then we are done with that. So this is The Angels Among Us by Victoria Maxwell and illustrated by Ellie Grant. And I've talked about this one before. I have a video somewhere on my channel um, where I talk about how I use this deck in regards to uh, seeing what goddess, what angel wants to speak to me and then pulling the tarot cards around in um, coordination with the words. My issue with this deck is there is only 36 cards. I have a real issue um, with that. And which is why I didn't pick up her goddess deck. And now I think she has a galactic guides or something like that. There's just, there's not enough cards to it. That That's why I didn't pick up any of the other ones. But this one I love. I love it. Um, like I said, to see what... Uh, energy wants to work with me and then I use the cards and pull or use the words around and pull tarot cards to get a deeper message from that energy. 
and I really like how that works in my practice. And then it looks like we have one more angel card. Yes, yes. And then I'll move on to another category. And this is brand new, brand spanking new to my collection, Angels and Auras, Oracle by Radley Valentine and Douglas Frazier. So I don't know at the time I'm filming this, <laughs> if I, because if I say anything in my wrap up video for November. So if this is a repeat, I apologize. This deck is brand new to my collection. I haven't had it. It came in middle of November, somewhere in there. Um, I ordered it right after it was released. And I worked with it in conjunction with another Oracle and the messages were just so spot on. And um, the thing that fascinated me the most with this Oracle was, um, so I had used it in conjunction with the Sovereign Oracle, which while speaking of that, I forgot to bring it in here to put on my table. And what I did was uh, pulled a, a card for the week and then read the messages on the Sovereign Oracle. And then I pulled a couple cards, one for each sentence from this deck in regards to that sentence. But when I was putting it in my journal, I notated the um, colors that were on here, like um, turquoise, and um, if there was any colors in the guidebook. Or I wrote it down in my book, and then halfway through the week, I'd gone to my book to write something down, my journal, and was rereading my entry, and was writing something that had happened for the day into in regards to one of those things. And the color for that card was purple. And I actually had a purple shirt on that day. And there was another instance in the week that happened exactly like that with the other card. And it was orange and I can't remember the other color that was with it. And I was wearing the day of, of the occurrence of whatever happened, I was wearing those colors. I found that very, very fascinating. I want to work with this deck more. I want to explore it more, um, explore more of this, this uh, color um, coordinating uh, energy that is going on with it. And so right now this deck is sitting out on my coffee table. So let's move on to another category. So the next set of decks I'm going to show are the decks that I am going to put into my divine feminine category. These are decks I feel that kind of empower uh, women in some way um, or work with goddess energy. And I guess I'm showing them in the groups of how they're going to go back <laughs> into the cupboard because that's how I separated them out on the table. So let's start with this one. This is Wild Woman Rising by Angie Sullins and Jenna Della Grotaglia. Um, I really do like this deck. I worked with this deck this year, I believe. It was this year. Um... And it, it does just that. It is very uh, empowering for, uh, for women. Um, gives you, you know, that oomph you need in a reading, um, especially, like I said, if you're, you're a female. And at the time I used this and read with it, it was just exactly what I needed. Um, there's some diversity in it. It's all... I mean, I don't know about age wise, maybe a picture here or there, but I don't know. It's okay. It's, it's, uh, worked for what I needed it to work for. Um, I will say, man, this gilding though, it cuts my fingers, which was the only thing I really didn't like about this deck. There's not much write up in the guidebook either. Um, but it's, it's a great deck if you want to get that 
empowering feeling. How many cards? I don't think there's that many. There's only 44 cards um, to this deck, which I think that's pretty standard for her decks. So that is the first one. The next one I keep in a uh, divine feminine or that feminine empowering energy is this one. Believe in your own magic. Believe in your own magic. Oracle deck by Amanda Lovelace. Now I picked up the Cozy Witch Tarot and I used this Oracle beside the Cozy Witch Tarot uh, for a little bit and it was, it was nice. I I like this deck. I know the images are of these younger girls. I don't care because it speaks to that inner teenager. And um, I briefly said on here before, I come from a background of abuse. And so I need something to empower that inner teenager within me. Um, and this deck is perfect for that. And I like to use this deck when I read for a couple of my clients that are like between 18 and, and 20 some, uh, early 20s, 20 some years of age. Uh, I like to use this deck for them, especially, you know, if they're female. So it will always have a place in my practice. My next one I will show you is, let's go to this one. This is the Priestess of Light Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor and Kimberly Weber. I avoided this deck for a while. I bought it um, because I saw someone on uh, Tarot Tube gushing about it and I bought it and the images are stunning. They really are stunning. I love the muted tones of the cards. I'm really drawn to that, but I, I don't know why. I just, I was in a headspace where I wasn't prepared um, to work with it. And this is a really, really powerful deck with me, with me, for me. I cannot speak today and I apologize for that. Um, I use this in conjunction with my, oh, I think I use this in conjunction with my Touchstone Tarot and I used it beside another tarot too and right now I am drawing a blank and it was really, really powerful. And just looking at this right now, I think this would look beautiful next to um, Cat Black's other one that I have. What is that, the Golden Tarot? I think it would look really nice next to that. And I can't wait to play around and see if it works well. But it's not all divine feminine energy, but it just has that kind of feel for me. So that's why I put it in that um, category but I really do love this deck. One of my older uh, goddess decks is The Divine Feminine by Megan Watterson. This is the first Megan Watterson deck that I ever got. I really like this one um, to work with that goddess energy. This is kind of the primary one that I pull out when I want to work with a goddess, uh, the cards are sticking together. So I have a couple other ones that I will show in here in a minute. Uh, there was a lot of flack for this because, you know, there's no diversity in it, I guess. And, um, they're all young and the way they're depicted and okay. I, I understand that, but I just want to work with the energy. I'm not working with the person on the card. I'm working with the energy <laughs> of the card. So that goddess is going to come to me however she wants to come to me, not necessarily looking like that. She's going to show herself to me how she needs to show herself to me. So I don't worry too much about what they look like on the card because that's not what I'm paying attention to. I just need that uh, message from it. I just need you know, okay, who wants to work with me today kind of thing. And, um, 
go from there and then let them present to me however they choose. So I haven't worked with this one in a while. Um, another goddess deck. Whoops, everything's going to start tumbling down. This was my very first one. This is the Goddess Guidance by Doreen Virtue. I used this one all the time for a number of years because there really wasn't at that time any other Goddess decks out there. I still pull this one out. I can use this as a card on um, my sacred space. Um, it's the same sort of thing. I just kind of pull out the goddess or see what goddess energy wants to work with me or has a message for me and then I go from there and um, not necessarily go with what's on the cards but just you know work with that goddess for a while and see what uh, she has to say this one is out of print unfortunately And the third goddess deck I have is this one. Goddess Power by Colette Baron reed I really liked this deck when I first got it. And then I let myself be influenced by opinions of others. And then I put it away and didn't really um, pick it up and use it again. This is that matte cardstock from Hay House and it kind of, you know, sticks together. So the very first time I ever worked with Mother Mary energy was through this deck, Mary Queen of Angels. And this is another out of print. I'm sorry for these out of print decks, but I'm just showing you what's in um, my cupboard. This introduced me kind of to the Mother uh, Mary energy. Um, so, yeah, the first time I really worked with her was in this, with this deck. And then um, I, I put it away, but this is what introduced me to it before I moved on and found those other decks later on in life. I really enjoyed this deck. It's another uh, really good one. However, you know, um, there's God, and I can't remember if this one has Jesus in it or not, which could be triggering to um, some people, but I enjoyed my time working with this deck. And then I found this one, which is the Mother Mary... Let me, I got to pull the book out. Um, Mother Mary Oracle and Guidebook by Alon, Elena Fairchild. This is the bag I made for it. It doesn't have the roses on it, but it does have that red fabric. Okay. I adore this deck. I've talked about this deck on here before. I've gushed about it gone on and on and on. It is my very first like real, real deep connection to Mother Mary using this deck. The Pocket Oracle sits on my um, bedside table. I pull cards with it, with the power of surrender cards, which there's another Oracle I have, but it doesn't sit in this cupboard. It sits upstairs. Um, but yes, it was this deck that helped me develop a really deep connection with Mother Mary. And even though I dip my toes in and out of these other goddess decks throughout the years, I, I don't really work well or never really worked well with goddess. But and I can feel the goddesses pushing forward. I can feel that energy coming in and, and making itself known and its presence known. So I know that this is the path I need to steer onto and, you know, start working in goddess energy a little bit more. And I started with her. Um, it was a couple years ago. I really started um, meditating with her, having visions of her, with her, and uh, doing a lot of inner work. 
with her. And then I, um, I had some work with the Morgan this past year. So I am really enjoying um, exploring this divine feminine now. So I just got this one. It's probably still in order. And this is the Mary Magdalene Oracle by Megan Watterson. Yeah, see, I can't even open the box. I wasn't going to get this deck. Matter of fact, I remember commenting <laughs> on a video that I didn't like this deck <laughs> when somebody had done um, a walkthrough of it. And then I started seeing it more and more and more. And the funny thing is I have the book that this deck is based on. Um, I have not read all the way through it, but I, I have started it. And I just thought I'm enjoying the book. So why wouldn't I enjoy the deck also? So I went ahead, well, first it got, it was sold out for a while. And as soon as Hay House got it back in stock, I went ahead and I picked it up. Have not read with it, haven't even uh, really shuffled it and done anything with it. So I can't tell you anything about it, but I really wanna work with the Mary Magdalene energy. So that was the whole purpose of uh, purchasing this because um, I do, I want to, uh, work with her. So another goddess deck that I have is the Kali Oracle. And I'll just show you the bigger version that I have here in my bag. I picked up the pocket edition because I wasn't sure if oh my gosh, these are the backs. Those backs are pretty. I'm going to have to hold this. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like working with her energy. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to go for me, but I really enjoyed the few card pulls that I did from the pocket edition. And there's no guidebook with that. You only get that little bit on the back. So I wanted something more. I wanted a deeper explanation into these cards. And that's when I decided to pick this up at the last Llewellyn sale. So I've worked just very little with her, a few card pulls here and there, um, but I look forward to exploring this one a little bit more. So that's all the goddess decks, but this still is my, um, falls in my divine feminine um, category in my cupboard. And that is, let me make sure I read the thing right. It is, if I can get the books out of the bag, The Wisdom of the Divine Feminine and The Wisdom of the Divine, oh no, Wisdom of the Shadow. I thought it was of the, uh, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, I love working with both of these. I showed a video, hopefully I'm in frame. I'll scoot these closer together. I have a video up. I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's with this deck, um, the Wisdom of the Shadow deck. I just keep them together. I know this is like a shadow, it can be used for anything, um, which I've done. But since they're by the same creator, which did I say that? I don't think I did. Cause I don't have the boxes. When the boxes are ridiculously big, I store them in bags. Uh, Jessica Ricchetti and Jenny Hahn. Ricchetti, Ricchetti, however you say that. But yeah, I, um, I keep these together cause sometimes I will uh, pull them out and work with them together. But I do have a whole video on shadow work and using this deck in regards to that. These are other ones that kind of stick together for me.
but I really like these. And I mean, I could have put these in my independent pile, but I'm trying to keep them separated out into how I want them to go back into the cupboard. Um, but I got these ones for a steal. Um, I want to say it was like around Black Friday or around one of the holidays or something and they had some damaged boxes. So I really lucked out in being able to pick both of these up. But I enjoy the artwork on this too. I don't think I said that. I really like this um, artwork. I think this or the Divine uh, Feminine, I don't have that deck. I want it badly. Um, what is that called? The second edition just came out. Um, is it the Bonefire? Bonefire Tarot, I think it's called. Uh, the second edition of that. Am I right? I think so. I think um, those would pair nicely with that. Um, the last deck I'm going to show for today and for this category is technically an affirmation deck, but it's so empowering for women. The um, messages that are on here, it's wonderful. I mean, I am a multi-dimensional woman. I empty myself to be filled by the divine. Guide me, use me, lead me. Sure, you, I mean, it could be for anybody, but I just get this real feminine energy to this deck. And I love it, especially if I'm feeling low and I need that, you know, little boost or whatever. I will definitely pull a card from this. It's one of my favorite um, affirmation decks, but it doesn't sit with my affirmations. Like I said, it sits with my uh, feminine decks because that's where I feel it deserves a place. <laughs> so, oh, what the heck did I get on this card? Oh, maybe there's a little stars. Okay. <laughs> it's not my fault. There's little stars on there. Um, I probably get that it's feminine because of all the uh, females on the deck. But I do, I love it. I activate the priestess within me and I tend to the temple of me. I adorn myself in beauty, magic, and grace. So that is all the decks for today. Um, let me know if you have any of these decks that I showed today. Let me know how you work with them. Um, was there any decks that you saw that you are thinking of getting or decks that maybe you had and didn't work for you and you decluttered them for some reason? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about that. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you being here. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you want to see more of this deck collection. And until I see you next time, bye.